hello and welcome on in to early access pre-release gameplay of mana lords this game is so highly anticipated there is two million wish lists on steam over two million and i am one of the lucky few who get to play it before it's released on the 26th of april this is my first time ever playing it i haven't even loaded it yet i am very very excited to go through this with you all just to let you know a few things you'll be able to get your hand on the early access version of this game on steam and many other platforms on the 26th and also just to let you know this is not a review okay this is just my initial oh my god what is this exciting i will probably say a lot of exciting things i may say some things but they're probably just going to be me being confused rather than anything about the game but this is this is just my reaction to a game that i've been very excited about so come join me on the journey and let's see what we're getting into here okay so obviously straight away we get to start a new game and we get to make some decisions okay so we can choose our portrait and then you get to choose your coat of arms. Now, one of the cool things is there's a lot of variety already built into the game. There is also the option to load a custom one. I haven't done that because I haven't set that up, but it's absolutely a cool feature that you can completely make your own uh, coat of arms for the game and it can be completely unique to you. There's also a bunch, and I do mean a bunch of options down here of designs that you can have. You can then choose your color, what color you want it to be. You can go right through, and then you get to choose your symbol. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna go for the keg straight off. I do think if I play this again, and when the game comes out in full and I play it, I will be loading in my own custom texture and taking the time to design myself a coat of arms because that's just a really, really cool feature that you can do that. You can also change the size of the image. You can also change how often it appears. Like, you can really customize it even with the way the game has pre built it. Um, but obviously, you can also <laughs> just just go with what the game's given you and that's what we're going to do today okay so our name is british we are this beautiful creature over here and we are going to go with the barrel okay next you get to choose your scenario so at the moment we have three options there's rise to prosperity restoring the peace and on the edge you can also then choose the difficulty whether you want to do relaxing you want to do um default or you want to do challenging so that changes some of the settings in the game if you want to make it easy, I'm going to go for default and I'm probably going to go for this rise to prosperity because it seems like the easiest one. So fulfill the requirements of your citizens, plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat. Oh, no, I want to fight. <laughs> OK, we're going to go with restoring the peace. So two territories in the north are claimed by the illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the Baron for the Northern Territories. <gasps> okay, so our end goal is domination. And like I said, there's a lot of options you can choose for. And it's just, it's crazy that there's so much diversity. Like, you are going to be able to play a completely different game every time. And I love that in games like this. But let's just get into it and figure this out. Because we're probably going to play again. <laughs> Okay, and immediately here we are. This is where we start. This is how we start. And we immediately come in with a message. As I said, this is my first ever time playing it. So we're going to be going through all this together. This is what you will see when you first load up the game. Okay, tells us our victory com conditions. Dominance. Build up your town, your mana, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. Um, in Manor Lords, families need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel above shows how much you've got left. Got it. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we have construction, we have food, we have fuel. Okay. Oh, wow, it's, it's literally not going to give me any information. Okay, so... Like, is there a way... Okay, there's a way to pause time. So let's just not waste time. Okay, and this is where we've started... Okay, so we can see we've got a berry deposit near us. We've got wild animals. We've got some stone. We've got some clay. And we've got some iron. I imagine that's going to come in handy. <gasps> Ooh, okay. And this is the whole region that we can see. So these regions are under control that we can press. So these must be the ones ruled by the Baron. That's Goldhove. Selbitz. Hofstetten. Waldbrand. I can how this is so cool this is massive as well okay so let's go let's go home though okay I've already lost our settlement <laughs> I've already lost our settlement 
Okay, so there's no roads, like, pre-built in here, so we're probably gonna... Oh, wait, is it... No, that's territory lines. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to be smart about this and think about some things. Okay, it told us we needed wood. We have some supplies. We have a hitching post. We have homeless people's tents. Oh, no. Okay, so I think... I think, first of all, we're probably gonna want to build... Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. Got it. Wait, okay. Oh, okay. So this is water. Oh, okay. So this green area is really fertile for Emma. We're not great for flax. We're not great for barley. Okay, but then we're really good for rye. Okay, so this region, like, here, is definitely where we want to farm. So we're probably going to want to build, like, backwards a bit. And then, but berries and wild animals are this way. So maybe we want to kind of move our village over here so that we can keep farming over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you for telling me this. But also, the underground water thing. I feel like for a well, you're going to need the water, right? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, do we need to build a road first, maybe? Okay, some workplaces allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off-road is extremely slow, so make sure you connect your buildings to roads. Okay, so straight away it just wants us to do roads. So I'm just thinking, based on what we just learned, what if we just, like, build, like, a road here as, like, our central road? Right? And then we can sort of start working on that, because I think that makes sense. I don't know how to bring those overlays back up. So that's not great. <laughs> um, like, wait, I don't, okay. Because that's the map. Okay. Oh, when you go into construction, they come up. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, this is our fertile area. But we want to chop some trees down, right? So let's go with a logging camp. And then, what if we put this... What if we, like, put this here? Because that's going to get rid of all those trees, right? Okay, unassigned families will work on construction automatically. Okay, and then a woodcutter is going to produce firewood. Okay, that seems like a smart move as well. So let's put that next to this guy. Okay, and then we do need food. How do we get food? Okay, hunting camp and berries. Okay, but berries... If we build it along the road, I'm assuming they can reach that. Because it, like, it's glowing. And then I don't know about Hunter. Do we need to build... Like, if we build the Hunter here, will it be able to hunt that far? Okay, we're going to try it. We don't know. We're learning together. Okay. So let's come out of construction menu. Uh, timber requires oxen to be moved. Village resort may get the ox when they need it. Okay. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> Look how cute this is. This is definitely one of those games that you want to zoom in and, like, watch the detail. Because look how cute this is. Just, like, insta cart in that wood over there. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. But, like, that was one out of two pieces of timber. Okay. So things are going to take some time because that ox don't move fast. And we've got one ox. Can we get more oxes? How do we get oxes? Oxen. After placing an order, a livestock merchant will come to your town and deliver the animal. All of them can be placed once a month. Wait. Oh, I've only got one stable space, though. Okay. Interesting. I wonder, does it help if I, like, move it? <gasps> Relocate. Okay. What if we put this, like, right here, though? So that it's like with our town, because that's gonna be that's gonna be worthwhile. Oh my god! Look, they're building though. Look at them go. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> like you know, cute's probably the wrong word. In almost all cases, resources and mana lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do that later. But right now, I'm kind of enjoying the process of watching them build this little house. I think it's really cute. And I love this as a detail. I think this is really clever because I've always thought it was a little bit weird. Especially when, like, some of the resources get really, really heavy. How they're just lugging, like, lumps of iron around. And it's like, no person could actually do that. 
So that just seems really unrealistic to me. This is interesting, because what are they constructing here? This is clearly the loggers' camp. And they're nearly done. Okay, and then they're moving the hitching post, which is smart. But they don't have the wood for the the thing yet, so we'll wait and see what happens with that. Oh, and then our people are homeless, but I feel like we need to get this supply set up before we worry about giving them shelter. So let's 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 get these buildings built. Oh, okay, okay. The building has no assigned family. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. Well, obviously straight away. Assign a family. There we go. Okay. While human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Okay, so if we wanted to and just dedicate an oxen to one job, we could do that. But since we have one oxen right now, I really don't think that seems like a good idea. So maybe let's not do that. Okay, so let's speed up so we get the rest of these buildings built. Because then we'll need to assign some families. Okay, so the woodcutters is done. Let's give that a family. I mean, that's going to be all our families, is what I've just realized, but that's okay. Now, one thing I wanted to check, because obviously we had certain trees we, like, wanted them to work on. Oh, okay. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. So, if I remember rightly, like, this was the fertile area, so I'm going to see if I can get them to clear this. Is that the same for you? Okay. Let's see if we can get them to work on that. Okay, so the forage is done. And then the berries are here. So, like, obviously go work over there, guys. Okay, I probably should start thinking about building them some houses now. Residential. A burridge plot. Now, this is a thing that I have seen on, like, every trailer and every bit of the game that just makes me really excited. Okay, so some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to roads and buildings to try and create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future extension upgrades. The first two points mark the front of the house by default. Okay, so this is the thing I've seen that, like I say, got me all excited. So wait, let's just go. So if we want, like, houses to run along here, and then we'll give them some room. And then you see here, we've got this. So we can, like... We can, we can spread it out. Okay. We can spread it out. We can give them more room. And then, so you can, if you want to, you can, like, rotate where it goes before you put it down, which is cool. And then you can also change it so that's just one giant house or you can make it two. And, like, obviously if there was room for more, it would let you do more. Now, the one thing I do know just from watching other people play this is that this is the important bit because this is obviously where the house is. But what you want is to make sure that they have a yard space because they can actually make, like, vegetable plots and other things that they will then use as a family later. So you absolutely want to make sure when you give them this space, you are giving them enough space to, like, spread out. But we do actually need more houses in this because... That's, like, not enough for everyone we've got. Oh, why are they saying no to this? Okay, so it doesn't like this, so I'm going to just go back again. Maybe I need to give them more room between their plots. I also don't think I've done that long enough. Hmm. So I think this is going to be very, like... Oh, I don't have enough wood to do it. Okay, okay, maybe I need to chill out for a little bit. Can I, like, build one more? No, okay. We have no wood. We have no wood, team. That's that's a small problem. But we are getting some houses underway. Okay. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal. Hildebolt von Burr. Right back? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So I can either say you have no rightful claim to sell bits in Hofstein. I can say need silver. Or we can do a surprise war. I don't think we're going to do a surprise war. Wait. Okay. So I can send this here. Okay. So I sent them a note basically saying, hey, you don't own this place. Okay. I need to see if there's anything else I need to build. Ooh, a marketplace. Provide space for the assigned families to set up their stores and distribute their projects to the burrage plots. A healthy supply and demand ratio of goods is needed to fulfill residential requirements and keep 
Approval high. Oh, okay. So we want this. So what if I build... Okay. 50, 55, mar 55 market store locations. 58. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know if I need that many. Let's go with that. That's like a good space. Okay, so we have a market. Oh, okay. A well supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Okay, so it was important that I built that. Assigned families will set up stores automatically as long as there are enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burridge plots closest to market get their market requirements filled first. Okay, wait. Also, I've just realized we did not assign a family to the hunting hut. We also didn't tell the hunting hut where to work. And we want it, like, up here, right? Okay. Okay, how are we getting on? So, like, we seem to be out of wood, which is a problem. But the logger is bringing us wood, right? Do I not have any, like, free... Oh, no, I've got one unassigned family. What are they doing? Oh, they're working on this. Okay, so now this has got enough wood. Oh, wait, are they building us our first house? Okay, let's speed this up a little bit till we get these houses built. Oh, wow. These are cute little houses. Look how fast they're building. Look how fast they're building. Okay, I feel like I want to give them a storage area somewhere a bit better. Because I feel like they're taking... I wonder if I can move that storage area. No. Can I build a storage area? Build a tavern? Hell yeah. Oh, a well. Wait, we wanted a well. Okay. Oh, I didn't think this through. Where's the well going to go? Because I want it to be on the water. Okay. Uh, homeless will move to the plot. And if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check on their residential requirements. Okay, so they need water access. They need church level. They want a fuel supply stall, a food supply stall. Okay, so they want stalls. Okay, but we're working on that, right? Okay, guys, we need to probably... This is getting a little bit stressful, and that's just me. <gasps> oh, you can make the road curve. Oh, okay, well, I love that already. Okay, let's try and build a well, like, here. Okay. Okay. And then the mar- Oh, my God, the market's got a stall. Guys, look. The market's got a stall. Why did they build it all the way down there? Okay, can I put, like, a road- that goes around the market. I can. Okay, so we've got like a road that goes around the market. That makes sense to me. Okay, and then I just need to remember this fertility thing. Okay, so I am kind of creeping into the farm region, which isn't great. But I also haven't built a farm yet. <gasps> oh my god, so you can do a field, you can do a farmhouse. Okay, so you have to have a farmhouse for a field, got it. But I've only got one unassigned family, so I feel like I feel like the priority right now needs to be getting houses for these last kind of families. And again, I kind of do want to go this way. Okay, but I don't have enough wood. Can I how much wood do I have? I have four wood. Okay. Okay. So that's another that's another two. So that'll only leave one homeless family, I think, when we get those built. See, like, do you see this? Oh, they've got one of their food source supplies. Wait. Oh, okay. So I can tell them to construct a chicken coop. <gasps> or a goat shed. Or a vegetable garden. Okay, I wonder if, like, they will choose that or I have to tell them to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you think they do that on their own? Or do you think I should be like, hey guys, you know what you should do? You should definitely build a vegetable garden. Oh wait, it just turns it into a vegetable garden? Oh, these are vegetable garden people now. So guys, you guys are vegetable garden people. I hope you're okay with that. It wasn't really my plan, but it kind of happened that way. 
Okay, what if... Yeah, I'm a big fan of roads in games like this. I just feel like it makes everyone happier to have good road uses. Okay, what's our problem? Pantry. Good stores here are vulnerable to weather damage. Need to be moved to a granary. Okay, we need a granary. Okay, this is storage. Okay, granary and storehouse. Okay, these seem like good buildings to build. But we don't have enough goods. We have enough stone, but not enough wood. Wood is definitely a problem. And I feel like we need to build that storehouse. So we need to get this dude doing a better job. Oh, this is kind of stressful. Right, let's get our houses built. Let's try and build up some wood. And then we're going to build a storehouse. I feel like if we build our storehouse next to the hitching post, it might be a good idea. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like that might be a good shout. Look at them doing their vegetables. They're so cute. You having a good vegetable life over here, guys? Yeah? Oh, okay. So they built a firewood stall. Okay. I respect that. Yeah, we're just waiting on our ox doing its job. Okay, they're building the well. This little ox is, like, doing its best little life over here. But I definitely think a storage hut and a granary are going to be a winner. Uh, oh, okay. Have we got wood again? Okay, we have. Let's go... Let's go storehouse here. And then I do want to build a granary, like, right next to it. But obviously we need some more wood. Oh, I love that it's a proper seasonal game again. Okay, we can build another hitching post for one. <gasps> Ooh. That's interesting. So I can I can build another hitching post for one. But to upgrade to a small stable means I have to I have to put I have to put two planks down. So surely the logical thing to do is just to build another hitching post somewhere. Does that work? Like, can I just put that down? And will that get me another ox, or do I have to order the ox? I mean, at this point, we're just kind of figuring stuff out, so let's figure it out. I, I like, I know that I'm going to kill everyone in this town. <gasps> no! All our food's getting soaked, because we didn't build a granary in time! Oh, this is not good. This is not... Okay. When you play this game, build a granary. <laughs> build a granary, because you're probably going to lose food really quickly, like I did. Okay, we've also got another one of our houses built. So we only have two homeless families now. That feels like a win. Okay, I think I can build the granary here. Okay, I feel like this is a good place for storage. It's near these houses. It's near the marketplace. But obviously the problem is this one oxen. So I'm also curious how this is going to go. Like, this is under construction right now. Does this automatically get me another ox or do I have to order the ox? Probably have to order the ox, right? Also, whoa, 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 whoa. I've lost my farm. Oh, there we are. This is a lot. Like, it's a lot. And do you know what? The tutorial is not, like, giving it to you easy. It's not telling you every single step to do. Which I respect because, you know. Let me figure this out. Okay. Oh, they're building the storehouse now that it's dry and we no longer need to worry. They're also building the granary. They prioritize that on their own. They were like, no, you need a granary. Like, sort your life out, mate. And I love that, that they, like, self-prioritize, because they know. <laughs> they know. Okay. So the granary's nearly done. The storehouse is done. The hitching post is done. Okay, so we can order an ox. <gasps> We've ordered an ox. Okay. Okay, so just to, like, check in where we are. What do we have? How are the people feeling? Okay, so they don't have a church. Why are they saying they don't have this stuff in the market? Because there's one right there. Like, they're saying they have... Wait, are they saying they're not close enough to the market? Yeah, because they're saying they have as well. And they're saying they have as well. So I don't understand why this one is not giving itself the market stuff. Like, does the market... I don't think it has it. Like, does it have a circle of reach? I'm confused about that. I feel like we're being conned a little bit. Okay, I do need to build one last house because um, some of my peeps still don't have a house. 
Okay, I was gonna try and be cheeky and build two so someone could move in. Ooh, let's give these guys the option to... Oh, wait. I don't want to make it a bit bigger, though, because they need to be able to do, like, the outdoor spacey thing, right? Okay, so they've got an option for a house upgrade. So this is, like, going to be the posh people live here. Okay, so the granary's there, so now we just need to move stuff. Wait, does that need to have a family assigned? Because I don't have the families for this. Okay, let's get everything built. Did my ox arrive? Yes. Yes! I have two oxes. Okay, I feel like that's a win. We've got one homeless. The exposed goods need moving. So is that what the dude's doing? Like, how do I put someone on this to make them move it all inside? Like, do you know what I mean? Do I need to assign a family to it? Because in which case, that's a problem, right? Yeah, because it's weird, right? This ox, like, isn't moving this stuff. And I don't know how to tell them to move it. <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Okay. Okay, wait, so much happened. To get more population, you need to have enough empty burrage plots and your approval needs to be over 50%. Got it. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived and you'll now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Okay, I don't know how to do this. Army. Uh, militia footmen. Okay, what have we got? What did we get? We got spears. Okay, the male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of the body armor and helmet depends on the village residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Okay. Okay. I don't really know everything that's just happened. Oh, okay, so they cleared the area I assigned them, so let's give them this area. And then how do I make you guys do your job? Because I don't have a house for you. Okay, they are... No, they're, they're not moving stuff in here. Hmm. Okay, also, what else do I need? I have a marketplace, I have a well. A tavern and... People really want a church, but I don't have planks yet. So I, I clearly need to make something that makes planks. Oh, which would be a saw pit. Okay. Oh, and I can make a forest hut. Forest hut. Family members join one of the settlers. Burridge plot level one. Wait, did they have a baby? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, well, they're all transporting, so none of them can be a baby. Resting at home. Do you think Margaret's a baby? They're foragers. They're the hunters. Well, that makes sense. So they're near their houses, which is great. But yeah, I don't really get how to make them put supplies in here. Um, I also definitely, definitely, definitely need... I wonder if for, like, the, the speed thing, we should actually just get these guys. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I did not mean to do that. Um, to, like... Like, let's just not work, limit. Like, just let them work wherever. Just so we actually start getting some decent logs going. Okay. Let's let some time pass. People suffering disease may stop working. Access to herbs might speed up their recovery while a varied diet increases disease resistance. Wait, are people ill? Oh my god, this is so, like, hard to keep a track of. We only have ten adults. The logging camp just doesn't seem to be producing any wood. Like, I don't get why not. Are you guys ill? See, I wonder whether we should, like... Okay, so you can... You can tell it what to store... I don't get why my logging camp's not doing very well. 
Like, I can't see the people assigned to it. I wonder if they're sick. Okay. Okay. We got some logs, guys. We got some logs. I think that's enough to build the house. Because it said I couldn't get a new settler until I build a house. So I have to build a house that they're going to want to move into, I guess. Let's make them neighbors with these people. Okay. And I don't know what to do about the storage. Like, I don't know how to make it make move this stuff inside. I think from now on, most stuff's getting stored inside. So I think, like future problem resolved but you know this is a lot this game like i i knew it would be but also can we just can we give it some credit like it is cute it's got a lot going on we've got things going on in the marketplace the hunters don't seem to be doing great like why haven't they set up a marketplace store that feels weird to me like i find it weird they haven't gone for a, a hunting market stall i mean i'll let them off but i find it weird and I still don't get why this... Oh, they are now happy. Okay, so we need a clothing stall. I don't know how you do that. Like, what building I need. I also do kind of want to get us to the point where we get a farmhouse going. Because I think that's going to be important. Okay, bloomery, smithy. There's so many options. Okay, so bloomery converts iron ore into iron slabs. Then we've got a smithy, which turns them into tools. We're going to have a clay furnace, a malt house, a tannery to make leather, a weaver to make yarn, and a dyer. We can set up a trading post and a livestock trading post. Okay. We can also set up a manor house. Oh my god, but we have to become a small village first. Okay. Cosmetic. We can erase shrubbery. And what, we can just put a shrine down? Okay, I don't know how that works. It's cosmetic only anyway. Okay, so pack station is for moving between our own areas. So if we want to set up like a whole new settlement, we can do that. Okay, that's good to know. And then we can set up a stone cutter camp. Oh, that's probably something I'm going to need. Now the stone's over here. So do I build a road? Like heading in this direction. I feel like that probably is a smart thing to do. But unfortunately for us, we still don't have... This logging thing is not working out well for me, and I really wish I knew why. I wish I understood why I can't hold a log to save my life. Okay, there you go. So we can now build you. Even though I know I don't have a family to assign to it, I think it's probably worthwhile to get it built. You know, we might as well just get it built. Okay, we now technically have a free house. So I'm kind of hoping that means that we might get someone. And approval rating is above 55. So, like, for my logic, that means someone should move in. I don't know how long it takes settlers to arrive. But, like, I would hope that means someone's going to move in. Because I'd really like to be able to assign a family over here. A new family side moving in. <gasps> Guys, look how quick that was. Okay, let's assign a family over here. And then ideally, I would like to, like, give them their house down here so they don't have so far to walk. So I think maybe we'll build... Oh, but wait, are they going to be close enough to the market? Like, how does that work? Right? Like... Do they not get the benefits of the market over here? Oh, wait. Why is everyone saying the fuel supply store is gone? Is that because it doesn't... Oh! Wait, I get it. Because it said the houses closest do the best. So I'm wondering if that means that they couldn't... Like, they couldn't do what they needed to do. Oh. This is starting to make sense. So I think these guys will still be able to shop at the market, but the market needs to, like, be a better market. Okay. Okay. But we are going to build two more houses as well. Supplies are only going to last us three months. We have two oxen. Okay, and then I, I think for food, we need to start thinking about a farm. 
Okay, so we need to get up to three wood. Let's let's get some wood going. I just love the 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 people. Oh, we did some saving. Like the detail in the people. Like, look at this guy. Did you see that? He was literally skinning the animal. That is such a level of detail that I think is really clever. Like, some people might hate that. Look at these poor guys as well. Like, they cannot get in their own backyard. Wait, wait, wait. Did, wasn't that an option for me on construction that I could, like, remove the shrubbery for them? At least let them see their backyard a little bit. I mean, maybe they like the overgrown look, though. I don't want to take that away from them if that's why they moved there. Maybe that's why they chose this house. <laughs> okay, so we're getting this built. We're getting stone coming. What was I about to build? Oh, a farmhouse. Okay. Also, I get easily distracted. Okay, so this is good fertile land. And it's next to the well. That just feels like a win to me. Okay, and then a field. Okay, fields in Manor Laws need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. For starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Late if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider, depending on the development plot, to unlock heavy plow upgrade, which allows plowing much bigger fields far more efficiently, utilizing oxen. Also remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about the soil they grow on. Got it. Okay, so they said a large field. They said to be about one Morgan. Okay, and that's 1.5. But I don't like where it is. Because I didn't actually mean to click there. Like, I want it to back into the farm. Okay, that's 1.4. 1.5. Guys, we have a field. Farmers employs farmers who work on the fields. The workhouses distribute proportionally in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, considering changing crop types, even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. Ooh. Okay, can we say... Okay, I guess we're growing meat. We're growing wheat. Okay. Like we don't have a family yet, because we need these houses to get built. This is kind of cool, though. Also, I forgot about this. Oh, sick. Okay, so specialize your region. After you reach the next settlement level, you'll be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise your administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Okay, so when we reach that level uh, one, like village, we got a development point that we can spend. So we can do a trade logistics. We can do foreign suppliers. So we can get a firewood cart and a food cart. So permanent market stall that provides passive income for bread. Okay. Heavy plow. Sheep breeding. Orchardry. Trapping. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, which gives a passive income of meat. Beekeeping. And forest management doubles the capacity. I think the hunting might be a way to go. What's this? Charcoal burning? Basic armor making. I'm, I'm going to go for trapping because I think... I think we need to make sure we have food. Like, the fact that our supplies are going to run out in four months doesn't fill me with that much joy. Okay, I don't know what the plus two... Oh, because two's being built. Okay, got you. Okay, we've got one unassigned family. We have six level families and we can have six houses. Okay, let's get these two houses built because I kind of want this to happen. And then... I kind of want to get you guys to clear this area because we're going we're gonna to build this way, I think, a little bit. I know that wasn't our original plan, but if it's saying that, like, one one area of field is going to be enough for the village, I think I can stress a little bit less about um, food. Because I think the, the key would be to build two, right? And then you can alternate between them just based on what it said. It was like, hey, yeah, build... Like, if we build that one, but we leave it fallow... We can do crop rotation. 
Although this one actually is better. Wait, do we just... Should we just make some shitty barley? And then if we put crop rotation... Oh, okay. So then we can do wheat and then we can do fallow on the third year. So what if we do you on crop rotation and we leave you fallow on the second year and we do barley? Okay. See, you have a plan now, fields. We have a plan. This kind of remi reminds me a lot of Banished, but like it's much more detailed, I feel. Or it's just because the buildings are cooler. I don't know. <laughs> but we're getting there. Okay, we now have room for an extra family, so hopefully someone's going to move in. I kind of hope the stonecutters move down here as well, which they haven't done, but I kind of hope they do. Okay, workers can't find anything to gather. I'm guessing that's these guys. Let's just let them go generic then. So I did see there was an option like for a forester's hut, which might be a good idea, but I don't want it too close to the farm. So I'm wondering if maybe... Oh, wait. How do I rotate again? Oh, like that. Yeah, like what if we build it like back a ways so it's not going to interfere with the farm like we can give it a road still we're not mean like that okay so the farmhouse got built but we don't have a family to move into it but we do have enough room now we've got like we've got enough room for two new families to move in we just need them to want to and our approval rating is high enough Okay, we also need to build a church. Yay! Okay, a new family moved in. Did you hear that? I was complaining, and then they just immediately went and did it for us. Oh, you need planks for a church. Okay. So we're going to assign a family over here. If the field is not set to fallow, workers will plow it and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield is increased as it grows, and is harvested in September during the harvest season. Okay. So we're probably overworking these poor guys. Ooh, the stonecutter camp storage is full. They did that quick, didn't they? But why is... So do I need to build them their own, like, storage? Or... <gasps> Wait, should I build them their own hitching post? Like, to bring it up to camp, maybe? They don't really want a lot of storehouses, but I could assign them a dude right i don't really know how it works because there is some stone up here so they clearly do bring it up i don't really know okay and then the other thing we do need to work on as well as a forester is we need to be getting these planks which is a soul pit so i'm gonna put that there so this is my concern so these guys are getting something from the market but just, like, not a lot because the market's so small. Our approval rating is still high enough. We should get another family moving in. I am, like, there is a temptation to just keep building houses. But then I wonder, like, what happens if you overpopulate? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, is that a thing you can do? Okay. See, I can make these some really nice houses. That's probably a waste of land, but it's kind of cool. Okay, we're going to let time move a little bit faster. I just kind of want to get caught up. We're in July. They are doing crops, but like... I don't think we're going to get a lot of crops in this first year. Because like, this is them plowing. Like, I don't even, th I don't even think... Yeah, I don't even think they've planted crops yet. Okay, so our, our saw pit is finished. We are making progress, like 100%. I'm just worried about storage. Okay, but like, how do I make you move it to a storehouse? This is what I don't understand. Is it just because I don't have enough ox? Oh, wait, I can... I don't have enough money. Oh my god, guys, how do I get more money? How do I get more money? Okay, convert. Okay. Okay. I have so many houses and no one's moving in. 
This is sad. Yay, someone moved in. Someone moved in. Okay, what do we want them for? The saw pit. Okay. Okay, so we don't actually have enough. Yeah, we don't have the equipment for any of these mercenaries. Ooh. Is my storehouse full? No. Oh, okay. I think I do need I do need a storehouse somewhat. <gasps> Bandits came and stole stuff. What the hell? Yeah, I think I'm going to need a storehouse like closer down here for these houses and for the stone cutter and maybe even for the farm. Like I don't know if the granary is close enough for the farm. Like I hope it is. But I don't know, but they just stole so much from me. But I need a family to move in. I'd like a family to move in, please. Because I need someone for the forester. And then I need... Yeah, so the problem is as well, guys, we're in August. And I don't think they've planted a single piece of wheat on this field. They're still plowing it. So maybe we'll use this for next year. Okay, money's a problem. So we probably need to start thinking about trading. I don't really know how that works, so... Okay. Construct a trading post. Again, we need wood for that. Okay. Oh, wait. Have you guys run out of space? Because I had you bloody set on a thing. Honestly, I'm dangerous. <gasps> Bandit camp was sighted. Where? No, no, no. Like... Where? Where is it telling me there's a bandit camp? I'm so confused. Oh, up there. Okay. Okay, I think a new family just moved in. Okay, yeah, so that's the brigands and outlaws. Where am I? Oh, that's brigands and outlaws as well. Wait, where's our camp? We're over here. Okay, look how big we are. Okay, yeah, so a new family just moved in. So I think I can put them in the forest. Uh, get some forestry going back. How have I got planks? I mean, I can upgrade it to a small stable, but what good does that do me? What good does it do me? Because I can't afford... Because I need to build a trading post. Wait, is that not what I was doing? Yes, I need to get four wood. Okay, let's go, guys. Oh, we're going to start running out of wood, though, because we have... We have a, a logging pit taking on my wood, right? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Oh, you're a long, skinny building. Can you go here? I kind of wanted you near my market. But I feel like I've started building... Wait, like I really want you to go the other way. There you go. Okay. One more log. One more log, loggers. Give me one more log. Give me one more log. One more log. One more log. Hi. One more log, please. Hi. One more log, please. I have so much stone. I have so much stone and just no logs. I think maybe when we get another house... Maybe when we get another family, do we assign it to the logging camp too? Because I think you can have two families at the logging camp. So maybe we need to have two families at the logging camp to make our logging more efficient. Because they do seem to take a while to get me any logs. Like, it doesn't seem to be working in our favor, team. But this is, like, I, like, honestly, I am so enjoying the setup. I'm having a lot of fun. This game is, like, interesting. Again, not a review, because this is just me experiencing it for the first time. Um, but... Yeah. You've got to constantly keep on top of so many things. 
I do feel like I want to give these guys their own oxen. Like, because I can assign a, like, a thing to it, I think. Oh, we were going to build these guys their own storage, and I forgot. Oh, no. Okay, we can do that, though. Okay. Because I wanted them to not be stressing about this stone situation. <gasps> Look, it's a stable! So technically, we can order another ox or a horse. Okay, so when we get some money, that would be great. But we're building a trading post, so that's hopefully going to help us get money. But I just feel like we're not, like, sitting comfortably with anything yet. Like, we've got a lot of berries, and that's about all we've got a lot of. We have now started to get planks, which is good, because I do want to build a church. Like, but a church is really big, so maybe we're going to build the church here. Okay, so this is our church spot. Do not let me build on it, because I will. Uh, kind of thinking this would be a really cool spot for a house. Do you know what I mean? I mean, that's a massive house. Very generous with my houses. But we're not actually full yet, so we don't actually need it. Ooh, okay. Come one, come all. Feast. Where's the King's Road? Oh, that's the King's Road. Interesting. So we weren't connected before to, like, the main thoroughfare of the world. But I feel like we now are. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so how does a trading post work? Do I have to... Oh, it needs a family. It needs a family. Um, okay, I was going to say we could trade berries. Okay, I probably need to understand how trading works, but I think I need to assign a family to that, and we don't have more families. Like, hi, I'd like some more families again, please. I feel like that's all I do right now. Is just, like, kind of beg for families to move in. Makes me very needy. Oh, I don't like that construction at all. Oh, but I kind of do like that. But I want there to be less. Okay, maybe we just... Maybe we just do the one. Because we can build that. Like, my approval rating is high enough. I don't understand why more families aren't moving in. But maybe that's just a thing. Also, I feel like we need gold to do these things. And it's very annoying that we can't. Like, I'm going to make them build a vegetable patch. Because I think that's a good idea. Oh, yes! New family straight away. Okay. So there's a family working in the traders. Okay. So we have 10 houses and 10 families. So we definitely need these extra plots. This is the thing you've got to keep on top of. Like, no one will move in if we don't keep putting... ...these extra plots down. This is a horrible spot for a house, but they're having it anyway. But yeah, I really wish I understood how trade worked. <laughs> trade. Okay. So I want to trade berries. Oh, the trade rule is set to no trade. Wait, what? Policies. Production. Okay. I, I don't know what it means about the trade route thing. How do I... Like, how do I tell it I want it to... I want it to do the trading. Uh, 
Oh, wait, no trade. Uh, export berries. Can we make sure we always keep, like, I don't know, 80 in stock? Oh, okay. We have to pay gold to establish a trade route? Ugh. Okay, I don't think I want to do that, right? But, like, will I still be able to trade is my question. Okay, if your generic storage is full, why why are you not coming to this storehouse right here? Do we need to assign families to the storehouses now? <gasps> no! But they're not nearby. Like, you're saying nearby bandits. You know how far away they are? They're so far. Okay, I just don't feel like my town's doing particularly well. I mean, I expected, as I've said, for everyone to die on this first playthrough, but I also feel like I could probably be doing more to help them at this point, and I'm really not. Oh my god, all I need for my church is five logs. Wait, so if I... Can we, like, tell you to stop building for a sec? So that my, my logs pile up? Okay, we've got two spare families, which I did not realize. So I'm going to assign one over there. I think having two families in the logger. Okay, we've only got two months worth of fuel. So that is a problem. Okay. It's probably because we've got a lot of people, right? Do you really want to assign these guys their own oxen? I don't know how you do that. Oh. So I've given them their own oxen. Let's see if that improves anything. I don't really think I had enough oxen to do that. <gasps> I sold some berries. Okay, we need to work out what to do about fuel because it's October, so we're about to hit winter. So only having two months of fuel left in winter is never a good idea, guys. We're so close to being able to build a church, though. And I really think that's going to up my approval and maybe get some more people moving in. Because, like, who doesn't want to live in a town with a church, right? Right? In the, like, in medieval times, like, you wouldn't live somewhere that wasn't religious. So it does, it does make sense. Are we about to run out of berries? Oh, they're seasonal. Okay. Yeah, we need these farms to start doing their job. Like, I'm just saying, farmers, we need you on it. I'm thinking I'm going to assign another family to the farms as well, as soon as I can. Okay, so no one lives there yet. Does anyone live here? No. Who lives here? Oh, see, winter is approaching. My approval rating is 60%. I am loved. Like, name a government right now in the world that has a 60% approval rating. I'll wait. <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to have to go to war, though. <laughs> I'm scared of the forthcoming battle. Like, I know it's necessary, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean I'm okay with it. I just think this is so cute. We're running out of fuel. Yeah, we only have one month of firewood. Can you guys just do a better job, please? <gasps> New family moving in. Okay, we said we wanted to put them in the farm, but now I'm worried that we need to put them in, like, firewood. Okay. See, this is the thing as well. We only have two oxen, and I've signed one of them over here. That's probably a ballsy move. I don't know that I need to do that anymore. Maybe we're gonna uninstall my livestock from you. Okay, we've got 11 houses again and 12 people. So, like, but this is the trouble that I'm worried about because I think, yeah, I think, like, what I'm doing with, um, that's kind of cute. 
Dakota and Tennessee. Ooh, wait. So that's got a well on it. How can that work? Yeah, I don't really want you to take over the well. I want one plot. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, it, it won't actually let me build there. So, what if we build here? Okay, we've got three houses going up over here. That feels good. And then the tavern. So the tavern needs ale to function, which is a problem. Because I don't know how we make ale yet. Like, I'm not that girl. I have not figured that out. Mm, no, I don't want to see you. Uh, so, uh, I just keep saying ale a lot, guys. Sorry, I feel like a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> a little bit overwhelmed. Like, I don't quite know what's going on. Okay, sheep farm's an option. Oh, wait, do we need a windmill? We're going to need a windmill, right? When this is all done. Is this a weird place to build my windmill, though? Like, it should... Oh, no, because that's the granary, right? So that is not a weird place to build the windmill. Let's build it there. Where can I build? Nice. Okay. I've got some stuff building. My church is taking some time. I don't really get the whole stone issue. These guys have so much stone, but like, who's transporting it? <gasps> guys, we made some money. I can get uh, another ox, which I'm going to do. I mean, we're still really struggling. We have one month of fuel at all times, but that's just how life is, I guess. If these guys... Yeah, they've got an unlimited work area, right? They can just go do whatever they do. How are you doing? Stop telling me I'm going to run out of fuel. I know I'm going to run out of fuel. Oh, wait. Some races disappear when it's getting cold and reappear again in the spring. Okay, so my berries have gone. <gasps> got a new family. Yay. See, here's the thing, like, what I want to do is kind of get families assigned to the storage houses to make them do a better job, I guess. But I also know I'm going to have to assign families to other places, because a lot of places are, like, fully full. And I don't really know... Okay, so that's nearly done. We are making money. Okay, do we get a horse? Wait. Trader available in nine days. Okay, so we've got the money, but the trader takes too long. Okay. We're in winter, guys. It's December. <gasps> okay, so the oven's finished. This is exciting. I mean, we don't actually have any wheat yet, so I'm not going to stress about it too much. Because I'm pretty sure all we've got in this storage... Yeah, all we've got is berries and some meat. Our approval rating is still 29%, though. And the stone is coming out of there into there now. Okay, so that's good. Because I think because we got this oxen working. See, it's saying we can upgrade this to a stable. So I might just do that. So we have the planks. I feel like getting that done is a good move. Because what else are they doing over winter? Okay, we've gone up to having two months, which is good. We've got our little house building over here. We've got a windmill being built. I feel like we're really, like, really making progress through the village, town, everything. And I want to kind of, like, work on the army thing. Because clearly we need an army. Because we're being attacked by bandits all the time. We also really want a sheep farm. But I don't know where I'd put that. Like, I, I don't think that needs fertility. 
I don't want to build it near the woods because that's clearly my wood area. I kind of want it to be near the farm. Road access obstructed. It's literally on a road. Okay, let's see how pastures work and see if we can get ourselves some sheepies. Like, it didn't give us any instructions. It just said, like, hey, here's your pasture. You know how, like, when we were building a farm, it popped up with a, a tutorial? It did not do that for the sheep. I find that interesting. Okay, we have a windmill. We probably need to assign a family to that. We have a lot of families needing assigning. Just, just in case people aren't clear, there's a lot going on. Okay, and then... I do kind of want to make a tannery to make some leather products. I don't know if I want you there, though. I feel like I've, I've kind of screwed up my construction a little bit because I kind of feel like... Some of these guys, like this, probably shouldn't be this central. Like, maybe we should move it over there. Uh, wait, how do you build anything when you can't see anything? Just because I'm thinking, like, for a lot of these things, like, we're going to want them to be... closer to town. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Three families moved in. Holy, holy crap. Right, okay. Uh, can we assign one of you to you? One of you to the oven? Kind of, let's put one of you in the granary. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I think we've still got space for two more families to move in. So I don't think we need to do houses straight away. I'm also think I'm gonna move you guys as well. Yeah, maybe to there. And then can I like get this collected, please, Mr. Oxen? Because I really want this this is like a plot of space I really want for my, like my tannery and stuff. Nice work. Sheep farm is nearly built. Ooh, okay. What is a horse for? Like, what do we use horse for? Like, I know oxen are like obviously for pulling carts, but are horses for pulling carts? We'll find out. Let's order a horse. Um, yeah, so I feel like we need to be smart about what we're building. Because I feel like we need to be, like, building an actual town. And right now I'm not sure that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I'm building a very hodgepodge village that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I kind of want to make sure that there's a bit of logic to what's going on. We have a sheep farm. Wait, why is it saying I don't have a pasture? Connect to the road network? How are you not connected to the road network? Also, there's a pasture right there. I wonder if that's just because I need to assign a family to it. And my approval's 59%. They are clearing these logs, so this is great, because this is what I want them to do. Do I have a horse now? No, my horse isn't here yet. <gasps> the church is finished! Guys, the church is finished. Wait, do I have to... Do I have to assign this? Like, how do churches work? Oh, no, wait, that's saying they have the church that they need. Ooh, okay. Okay. People are happy. I think this is going well. Approval 60%. And we're going to build a tannery, which is going to get them their clothing need. Let's put 
Oh my god, you can hear the marketers. I didn't even realize that. What have I got? Stone cutter. Firewood. Firewood. And a forager. Okay, so the hunters have never come here. Which I find interesting. Like, why aren't the hunters... I don't think the hunters are doing very well. I think that's why. Maybe I shouldn't have assigned them an area. Like, let's just let the hunters go. Maybe that's better. Wait, why is it... Is it the farmhouse? No. It's telling me something generic storage is full, but I don't know what. Oh, my tannery's finished. Okay. Again, if a bunch of people could please move in, that would be great. <laughs> I love that we're making money by selling berries as long as we are keeping enough berries. Which I think we are. Are you the stone cutters? Because, like, it, it weirds me out if you're not. No, you're the baker? You guys did not pick your house as well. Oh, I forgot. Money means I can do the, the like, the house expansions, right? Because I wanted to give some of them chickens. I need 25 wealth for that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wait until we get 25, and then we're gonna do that. Okay, and then we're gonna obviously because we're gonna have sheep in the summer, we will get towards building that thing. Right, there was iron somewhere. Yes. Okay, how do I mine iron? Okay, a mining pit. Like I don't know how it works. Do I put it on top of it? Okay, you put it on top of it. Interesting. It's so far out of the way, though. So we're going to build that there. And then we're going to build that there. And then we're also going to build one on the clay pot too and we're gonna give you a little road bit there okay and then I want to build here a storehouse because I think that's going to be important I want to build a hitching post because I think that's going to be important and then I think We're going to build four houses here too. And then I'm wondering if it's time to build another well. Like I know it's winter, but can I pop one down there? Okay. Whoa. That was a lot of building that I've just asked them to do. I also really, really... Oh, I have four unassigned households. Guys, what do we need? We needed a tannery household. Done. Do we need anyone anywhere else? Like, we're going to need ones for the new things, right? So we should... Oh, wait. Do we need a sheep farmer? We did. <sighs> kind of want winter to go away but also I like that it's accurate that winter well it's not accurate but it feels accurate because winter actually started in December like I don't like games that like it makes spring start in January because <laughs> it always it really annoys me because that's not when spring starts like it's the coldest in January and February so that's when it should be the coldest in the game yeah you tout your trade you tout your trade kind sir yeah, this is my favorite thing without a doubt about the game is that we're seeing this. So like, look at this. This is the Tanner and we're getting to fully watch the Tanner do their job. So they're currently like scrubbing it. Let's just like watch this process through. So they're scrubbing it. And then wait, are they gonna hang it to dry? Okay, they're just gonna put it down. Okay, well that makes sense. I don't know what we do with the Tannery once we've got the leather. We need to like look at that. Okay, and look at them with their little carts. He's a warehouse worker and he's transporting firewood. And then obviously we got the market stall traders down here. Working. He's peddling. Stone cutter's peddling. I mean, it's funny because that's a stone cutter. And they literally just have baskets of stone. Like, guys, come buy your basket of stone. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay. 
So we still have one household unassigned, but obviously we're going to get this stuff over here, so we need to look at that. Oh, wait, we needed a church, though. Yeah, we needed a church person. <gasps> wait, is that a clothing store that's just gone up? It is. Okay, wait. Wait, because they said if they could get a clothing thing, does that put them at the next level? That might get us up to the next level of village. I feel like it's took us a long time to get here, but probably not. Like, because if you expand too fast in games like this, you just die because you can't supply yourself. Like, we already nearly ran out of firewood, let's be realistic. So I think it was a good idea to take it a little bit slower, but they still haven't said they have enough leather. So we shall wait and see. We shall wait and see. I also don't really get why they say the pasture space is zero out of five because we definitely gave them. But is it how do like how do we buy livestock? Advance connected to the road work. They're waiting. But how do I? Like, it's saying this isn't a pasture space. Which I don't really get. Okay, we're gonna just gonna demolish it. And then we're gonna try and build another one. Like, I don't know how big it has to be. I mean, that seems crazy to me. But it's still saying zero. Okay. Someone somewhere is going to have to figure out the pasture space thing for me. It's definitely something I haven't got a handle on. Okay. We're plodding along. We're plodding along. Our mines nearly- look at it. Look at them mining. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that already. Okay. Yeah, the trouble is this oxen coming all this way, so I definitely think we did the right thing to give it its own oxen. Uh, maybe we hire you another ox. Like, that just feels like a good move. Okay, let's try and get back into spring. I just want to see if I can figure out this sheep thing. Because that's going to annoy me otherwise. Sixty-six percent approval rating is pretty good. But I don't know how to get my... Oh, okay. We need two level two burrage plots. How do we make them level two? Because they have everything they need. So how do I make them... Oh, I have to press upgrade? Oh, guys, we had to actually press the button. So that might be why. Okay, that might get us to our next level. See, this is what I mean about you guys are learning with me. I have, like, no prior experience this game. And I've tried to avoid watching too many people play it. Because I was excited to play it myself. Okay, so that they've got a storehouse. They're just building their well. Did we give them a hitching post? Or did I dream that I was doing that? We might have to wait. Oh no, there's the hitching post. Okay, they've got a well. New stop site in bandit camps, alright? I'm not very good at this. It did tell me I could hire mercenaries. That's my only other thing. I would like to do that, but I don't know how. Not that I have the gold. I have two gold. So maybe not. Yeah, if more people could move in, please. Okay, so the mining pit's finished. But I don't have a household to put on you yet. So you're going to have to wait. <gasps> we got a message? We see reports of band of raiders roaming the neighbor lands. Should we track their steps? I mean, sure. Okay. How do I hire militia? Because it keeps telling me a thing about militia. 
Uh, this is the army, and this is me creating new units. But how do I hire people? Not do that. Okay, wait, maybe military mercenaries. From the mercenary pool. Okay, but how do you open the mercenary pool? How do I open the mercenary pool? Like I don't understand. You're telling me I can hire them, but then you don't tell me how. Do I have like a diplomacy menu that I'm just being dumb about? It's not M, because that's the map. I have neutral approval, it's, that's neutral? Wow. Um, also, weren't I upgrading you? Okay. Do you have 13 logs? Can you speed it up a bit? Okay, does anyone know? Wait, what? Oh. My. God. I can be in the town?! Okay, okay. Now, just a heads up, it did say this is very early development it's to expect glitches. But look, we have a well. Oh my god. Hi! Hi, how are you doing? This might be the best thing about the game. This might be the best thing about the game. Apparently we survived winter as well. Look how pretty it is. Oh my god. Okay, I really wish there was sheep in my sheep fields. But apparently I've done something wrong with my sheep fields. So... That's not gonna happen. Okay, I just wanna try and get to the town. Like, I didn't realise where it was gonna drop me. So this is quite a walk. This is so cool, though. This is a feature I don't think I've ever seen in another game. I'm guessing it comes from, like, maybe when we fight, we can fight with them. But, like, look how cute this is. Hi, how's your house doing? Okay, so you can't go in houses. That makes sense. But, like, you can see everything. These are the sheep, guys. Let's go visit the market. Oh, look at them all. Wow, look at the mill. Why is it up like that? That's interesting. Okay, and then this is the granary. Oh, everything's raised. I wonder if it floods. Like, because everything's raised up on foundations, right? And this is the market. Yes. Hi. Can I get some berries? Thank you very much for the berries. I appreciate you. Hi. Hi. Yes. Can I get some firewood and some stone and some clothing? Thank you. Thank you. My market's so cool. And then look at these guys. These are my hunters. They're just out here skinning stuff. And then look. I have a horse. Hi, horsey, horsey, horsey. I don't know what the horses are used for, but um, we're going to figure that out. Okay, that's a cool feature. That is definitely a cool feature, but I still don't know how to get to my mercenary menu, and I feel like I'm being really dumb. I also don't know how to make my sh sheep farm work. Okay. Do you think I have to buy sheep? Livestock. No. Trade. How does one get sheep? Mm. 
Okay, so apparently my approval rating is not a good approval rating. I feel like I've been lied to. And we've got raiders approaching. This is not good, guys. This is not good at all. We need to figure this out. Okay, so how do I get the mercenaries? It's not R. B is military. C is construction. That's speed of game. I'm just pressing all the buttons. But I can't believe it's not like... You can just have a clear thing. Can't believe it's not more obvious than this. New mercenary company is available. Like it says it there, but I don't know how I get to it. It's not on here. Which is like my management. It's not under army because. Oh, hire mercenary is right there. Guys, it's right there. Okay. So. <laughs> the flock of crazy geese. The origin of the goose is vague. A lot of members used to be broke farmers. Practically anyone can join this company as long as they do not fear death. A large pack of baddies led by the biggest and toughest of them all. A small pack of local misfits. Okay, so we definitely need some more um, gold. So have we got anything else in excess that we can trade? I wonder if we can trade stone. Gotta smooth that beam over there. Uh... And maybe, like, just keep a hundred stone in stock. Because I don't, like, feel like that would be a bad idea. Like, a hundred feels like enough. Wait, so I think one of these just went up to level two? Yes. Okay, so this is now level two, but it needs a tavern. And it wants the stone church. Okay, I get you. I hear you. And you're on the way to being thingied. And this, we just can't figure out how one gets sheep. Fuck. Maybe, like, you had to be an area with sheep, and we've done something wrong. We have two mining pits and no one to move into them. <gasps> Guys, we did it! Look at that! Okay, we got a development point. Our settlement increased. Okay, so what do we want to do? Uh, basic armor making enables blacksmiths to craft helmets. I mean, the beekeeping sounds good. Oh. I mean, we do have sheep, so should we do sheep? But well, we don't actually have sheep yet, right? Oh, this is hard. I don't know which way to go. Like, I want to be a, I want to be an army place, really. But I feel like food is important. Permanent market store provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee, must be placed on the marketplace. Establish a new trader and always cost a maximum of 25. Mm. I mean, double the capacity of all buried deposits sounds like a good way to make money, right? But I kind of like the sheep one and the idea of an orchard. But we don't actually have any sheep yet. Let's go berries. Okay, let's go berries. Let's go berries. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to say. We've reached, like, level 2 village. We've got an incoming attack in 352 hours. We're not in the greatest place. We have no free villagers. <laughs> and we've survived a year. We're in the second year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna take a break here. But I'm definitely going to be replaying this. For a reminder, this comes out on the 26th of April. You can wishlist it now on Steam. I mean, 2 million people already have. So you probably already have. Uh, but yeah, please, please um, come back for the second video. Where hopefully we'll survive our first attack. And yeah, like I said, this is just me learning and figuring out this game with you kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And I hope, hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please like and subscribe so that you'll get the next video. And I will, I will see you there. Okay, thank you. Bye.